Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and I hope you had a good weekend. All right, let's get to it. Lots to cover, which is normal. Peak of the hurricane season. I want to get into this, this spot in the Gulf of Mexico and in the Caribbean for some of the uh, potential development there. And this over here, watching these blobs as well, a little bit closer look, that is Philippe. That is an area back behind it that will try to develop. Neither are well organized at all. Even some of the models picking up on them actually falling apart and just kind of drifting more off to the west. I'll get into that. This here is an upper level spin, so it's not truly tropical in nature. But like I was showing you yesterday in the video that I was giving you the forecast for October, be sure to take a look at that. I went deep into what we could expect in the month of October. This is a spot we watch this time of year. Anytime there's some rain there, uh, we could eventually see some tropical development and that is going to be a possibility in that area. Now let me show you this. The European model is doing a good job picking up on the environmental conditions because it's seeing some of the wind shear in these areas here. So let me set the stage. We've got this area here in the Gulf and the Caribbean. This here trying to move into the Eastern Caribbean. I've been watching us over toward Trinidad and Tobago up toward Dom, uh, Dominica. We've had some heavier rain around and then we have Philippe in this area back behind it. This is what's left, left over of Ophelia and a couple other little impulses here. Well, high pressures over here, all this action's here. Here, the big blue H, the big blockers over here, and that is going to allow Philippe to make a turn. With that said, more of the models are showing Philippe moving more to the west. Now, typically that would be alarming, but the reason some of the models are showing Philippe moving closer to the Caribbean is that some of the models are actually having this completely fall apart. And I'm seeing some of that because of the wind shear out there. You see Philippe here, this is by the time we get into Wednesday and the system back behind it, not well developed, actually falling apart. And then watching this, an old front here, all this energy back here, lots of rain and storms in the short term. I'm not seeing much development out of this area in the Gulf, in the Caribbean. But this time of year, I've seen it before, things start to spin up. They feed off those warm water temperatures. And then down the road, the European model actually has Philippe fall apart. And then keep an eye on this. Uh, the area back behind it could get more organized. So I'll keep an eye on that as we get way down the road. This is about a week from now. Still watching this as one of the hot spots for development and a little circulation coming off the east coast of the United States. So there are some things to watch as far as what could develop over here. That's still a big wait and see. And again, it could make its curve. So just kind of watching that as of now. I'm not seeing anything super alarming for rapid development at this time, but there are several areas that I'm watching as we go out in time, especially about five to seven days from now. We could have something approaching the Caribbean. That's not a guarantee. Now here is the American model. The American model is keeping Philippe together. Now here's the thing. If Philippe is stronger, it'll make a curve. If it is weaker, it'll move more to the west. But either scenario uh, is not super alarming. So even if it moves a little bit more to the west, hopefully that brings some of us some welcome rain. But it looks like both of these, at least in the short term, are trying to make a curve. But you see here, this is by Wednesday. We've got some blobs of rain here that I'm monitoring near Jamaica, like I mentioned. We've got some rain and storms around already. So this area, uh, like the European model, this is by Thursday, not showing any development element, but it's still showing the rain hanging on here. In, in my decades of doing this, if you get an area of rain in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean sitting there for days and days, this time of year with the water temperatures, even though the environment isn't super favorable, favorable for development, you can get development. This is by the weekend. Still showing areas of rain here stretching back from the Bahamas, Florida, Cuba, near Belize, Yucatan, Mexico, back through the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. I'm going to watch that. There could be some development. Now, let me get back to this. This is the crazy map. Here's the Caribbean. This is where Philippe is. You see this red shading? That's all the wind shear. So the winds are coming in the opposite direction. Philippe is coming this way. We've got some higher winds here knocking off the thunderstorm tops. And that's why it's less organized. And that's why it may drift off to the west. So if you're seeing the models drifting off to the west, doesn't mean there's a big system necessarily coming in. It would actually be a weaker system. I'm watching it. Now, here's one of the maps I showed you in yesterday's video when I was taking care of the forecast for October. This is exactly what we're seeing right now. That's why even the National Hurricane Center painted in some yellow over here for the potential of some development. We get these fronts in anywhere from the Bahamas back through the Caribbean up through the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we could get that development this time of year. I'm going to watch that very closely because 
it's close to home. If something spins up, well, then we kind of need to react and prepare for that. Now, as far as Philippe, the official track shows its turn, uh, but it may weaken. If it weakens further, it would drift a little bit more off to the west. So as far as the names go, we are on Philippe. The next name on the list is Rena, Sean, Tammy, Vince, and Whitney. And then after that, if we get through this list, there's a supplemental list. There's a solid chance we actually get through this list since we're already pretty close to that. We're still in the month of September. So this here, as I mentioned, is a spin that's way up above our head. So it's not tropical in nature yet, but it may kind of work its way down to the surface. In the short term though, Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, we are gonna have some flooding in spots. Please keep me up to date in the comments. I'll be going those throughout the day. Throughout the day, If you're in Jamaica, let me know uh, when and where you're getting rain. If you've got some totals or just let me know what the conditions are uh, when you're dealing with it. Be safe though. There is gonna be some flooding in Jamaica. We could see some spots getting over 100 millimeters of rain rain in Jamaica and in Cuba over the next 24 hours and several inches of rain up through Florida as this drifts up to the north. So here it is kind of on the uh, smaller picture, Caribbean and the Gulf here watching everything. Here's the extra rain, but also I've been watching the rain overnight. We had some showers and storms in Dominica. You may have had some thunder and lightning down through uh, Trinidad and Tobago, chance of scattered showers again tomorrow. And by tomorrow, there's that rain, Bahamas, Florida, Cuba, Cayman Islands still stretching back toward Honduras, Nicaragua, enhanced rain over toward Costa Rica, Panama, uh, Haiti, we're right on the, or Jamaica, we're on the edge of it. Uh, same thing in Haiti, Haiti, Dominican Republic, we'll get some scattered showers and storms, but here's that rain as we work our way into Wednesday still. Here's what could become Philippe, we'll see how close that gets if it does hang together. Lots of rain in this core, flooding is gonna be a high potential. Even if that area doesn't develop, we're going to see that potential of flooding. Belize, that rain chance will be picking up. Yucatan and Mexico, I'll watch El Salvador in Guatemala. High chance of rain as we work our way back through Central America. And then by the end of the week, we'll see if anything tries to spin up either in the Western Caribbean or in the Gulf of Mexico. It's been so active on that side. This side, not much at all. Just seeing some showers and storms, nothing organized on the Southwest coast of Mexico. So for today, Barbados, scattered showers and storms, a possibility. We've got some action in the Eastern Caribbean. St. Lucia, our rain chance is up to 60%, a 50% chance tomorrow in St. Lucia, about a 40% chance as we work our way into our Wednesday, a 70% chance of rain and storms today in Trinidad and Tobago. Jamaica, the next couple days, uh, the rain chance is high. I mentioned the higher amounts, the flooding potential we are going to have. Grenada, rain chance about 50% today. 50% chance today, tomorrow. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, 40% chance on Wednesday. A 40% chance of rain today in Belize, but it starts to pick up Tuesday and Wednesday as that moisture builds in the southern Gulf of Mexico and in the western Caribbean. Dominica, this has already panned out. We had some rain and storms overnight and in some spots this morning, very active. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, rain chance 40%, about a 20% chance. Antigua and Barbuda, 40% chance today in Puerto Rico. Watching out for some of the afternoon storms. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, a 20 to 30% chance of some rain and storms, a 20% chance of the next few days in Anguilla. An elevated 50% chance, 50 to 60% chance throughout the Bahamas. That upper level spin is drawing in some of that moisture. St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, rain chance about 30%. A 30% chance today in the Yucatan of Mexico, but that rain chance is going to pick up around Cancun as we get into the middle of the week. Cayman Islands, we have that higher chance of rain. Cayman Islands, definitely leave me your comments. If you do get any flooding, keep me posted on that. Uh, you can put your location, what you got going on. Turks and Caicos, 30% chance over the next couple days. Scattered showers and storms possible in Haiti and in the Dominican Republic, a 60% chance today. Could see a few of the next few hours, better chance later in the day. Minimal rain chances we get over toward Aruba, Curacao in Bonaire, Guadalupe, a 40% chance of rain for us today. A 50% chance in Martinique. So we've got that L elevated chance of rain in Martinique, a 60% chance in Costa Rica today, a 70% chance tomorrow and Wednesday, 50% chance of rain today in Northern Venezuela, a 30% chance tomorrow, 
isolated showers uh, possible in Guyana, isolated showers possible in Suriname. So clearly busy, monitoring a lot out there and across the Atlantic Basin, watching the Gulf and Western Caribbean for any signs of development. Eastern Caribbean, uh, watching out for some areas of rain. I mentioned some of that. We've had that overnight and this morning. Philippe trying to make a curve. We'll see if it kind of hangs on in that area that is right behind it also trying to develop. So thank you for leaving those comments and sharing this channel and being part of this weather community. Hope you have a good rest of your day.